Focus on camera one. Focus on camera one. Oh my god, dude, this looks legit. Why don't we have on I'm not sure. Maybe it was in here in the base at all. I don't like that no. color shit. It just reminds me of the, that commercial the guy could come to. It's so easy in caveman can do it. And then the caveman's like the boom man guy. Give me five seconds to put the left hand in. Hercules, Kevin, calm down. Kevin Sorbo. You're peeking the mic. Robert. Robert. And musical guest, the devil's camel toe. No, he's not the devil's camel. Devil's camel. Wait, is he like the main guest or is he like No, he's the second like side guest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'm just telling you that. Don't be, hey, don't make your response too extravagant. He doesn't like me looking keep it, Keep it short to the point. Andrew's going to do that. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so is that right here? Okay, okay. George is like, George is going to say, so you guys like working here? And then we're going to cut to Fabian and Fabian's like, does like the, like the scalp. Okay. Okay. Go. So, uh, you guys like working here? Okay. Yeah, it's this title. Yeah, it is a dentist title. So, why did you manage the Mariachi? Dude, I think this one's one. Hang on. Did you get audio? From the hit TV show Hercules, Kevin Sorbo, the New York Times best-selling author Robert Foreman, and musical guest The Devil's Camel. And now, here's your host, Cruz. And now he's gone through a few problems lately. Back to run over 2,000 yards as a football player. And that's why I haven't seen my wife for a while lately. Anyway, all right. Well, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for making it out tonight. Thanks for watching us get to some of the latest headlines. And uh, we know O.J. Simpson. I mean, he's been in the news lately for a while. All right. And uh, let's get into some other news. Hugh Grant, you, remember, you guys remember Hugh Grant? Uh, movie Nine Months, some other popular romantic comedies. Get you all. All right, guys. Well, uh, best-selling author Robert Foreman. Hey, Robert. Thanks for your support. Have a seat. Hey, Robert. How you doing? Oh, nice. Dad, he uh, came home with like a few books. I like those ones. Well, talking about Hemingway, it turns out there are, our audience hasn't read anything since Dr. Seuss. <laughs> All right, my favorite. Well, we're looking forward to that. And uh, we'd like to thank you for making it out here. And uh, don't go away, because coming up next is musical guest, the Camels. <laughs> out to Robert. Come on, Robert. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Give me a yeah, Have a seat. When I was in third grade, my dad uh, bought me a few books. I didn't really like reading. I guess he wanted me to read. And uh, he got me a few books. So. Um, one I really liked was uh, Hemingway. Hemingway? Uh, yeah. Like you know, that. you know. Uh, our audience hasn't read anything. And uh, I just really enjoyed reading. And, um, I liked uh, The Old Man of the Sea by Hemingway. Oh, uh, Hemingway, huh? Talking about Hemingway, you've got to keep it at our audience level. They haven't read anything since the first time bears. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I personally like Stephen King. Uh, my favorite book's The Shining. What's your favorite King book? Uh, I'm, I like Cujo. I think Cujo is a good book. Cujo's a good book, yeah. And uh, so talking about great books, talking about you know somebody like Stephen King, when can we expect a follow-up to this latest novel with, with a new bestseller? Um, well, writing takes a lot of time, Cruz. It, uh, it's a very long process. But um, I think, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm still getting accustomed to everything, but I should be coming up with something uh, very soon. Yeah. All right. Well, good to hear. We're looking forward to that. And, and we'd like to thank you. Thank you for making it out here, Robert. And uh,